Hey friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great. And this is a new playlist called Quick Reference. And currently, I'm initiating with a map. Uh, slowly, it could expand in other areas as well. And as few of you asked uh, about to share some interview uh, questions or interview perspective about some topics. I don't have any time for that, but we have a lot of blogs, questions are available in the internet. So I thought, okay, let's create a quick reference. Uh, maybe before, if you want to uh, have any discussions, so if you want to refer anything about quickly about some topics, probably this might be useful. And uh, I'm not sure I'm giving a hundred percentage or all. Uh, the ways of questions, but I try my best. I'm trying to cover most of the questions uh, about a topic. If you take like declarative statements, so what what are the possibilities of questions uh, they may ask? So that level I cover. Probably I may miss to as well. Uh, if if something come up, maybe I can create it. And this is a very quick video. It's not going to be a long one. So topic wise, I'm going to make it, and it doesn't require a system most. So, uh, because if you want, you can just try. I can give some examples. If you want, you can try in the system. So that's what I want to. Uh, don't waste your time. So it's mostly for a quick reference. Just have it in a five to seven minutes of time. So then proceed further. Okay. So let's start with the declarative statements. Back. So I'll go with data first. Declarative statements, we have phi in a bar, data parameters, types, tables, and constants. It allows you to create any type of data medium for your program. Okay, so it can be a variable, can be a structure, can be an internal table, um, and then the so constants or receiving a value from the input, many, many things uh, we have. So these are the five declarative statements we have and we have one more select options but it's not coming under this declarative statement okay so the first point is about data so what is the maximum length of a data variable as 30. so it's like if you are creating mostly we are not reached that uh, the length uh, because normally we go with material number so very relevant name for your program but the, there is a maximum character for that it's 30 if you can try uh, like creating a variable more than 30 characters you will get an error so maximum length for the data variable should be 30 not more than that okay and another might have a question is what what are the possible formats of a data variable declarations like uh, we have alphabet we have numbers combination of uh, like alpha and, and numbers like alpha numeric we have a special character so uh, that might have a question so just try your combination so these are the combinations uh, which, which is allowed to create a data variable so this you know start with the alphabet you can have alphabet and numbers you can start a variable with the number as well and you can start a variable with the underscore special character, but limited special characters, not all. And then you can start a uh, um, number with uh, special character, underscore one, two, three, type one. So these are allowed to create a data variable. And if one restriction, so you can have just a number as a variable. So if you say data one, two, three, type C, you will get a syntax error. So this is not possible. At least before a number, you need an alphabet or a special characters so to, as an acceptable format. And then, um, what type of data medium can be defined by a data? So it's not only variables. If we have a lot, we can we can make lot with the data variable, data keyword actually. So one is like using a predefined type. So like a type i with the help of a predefined type. So if you want to declare a data medium, yes, you can able to do it existing types types or like uh, from existing uh, data object is a variable i want to make one more data object or a variable then you can make it yes that is also possible and you can create a reference variables with the help of type ref to create an object for a class that is also possible by data 
and you can create a structure uh, with maybe types and then data there are some difference we'll see quite later but using a data also you're able to make a structure or a work area technically an internal table yes you, you need a data for that you can use type table of or like table of and the ranges table also you can make it with a so these are the options available uh, you can create uh, data medium with the help of data keyword and then what are the addition keywords for data so there are two addition keywords value and read only uh, you may just check there are with header line and all so those are for an internal table perspective not for a data perspective so if you, data is normally they just this value and read keyword is from the variable level so you have two uh, options additional keywords for a data is value and read only and what keyword is used to make an inline declaration so currently on our web and hana we normally just go with on the flow we have declare an inline declaration so data data with the help of data only you are able to make an inline declaration okay then yeah that's it just go through this about the data so probably i'll come up uh, more in a short period of time uh, it will it might helpful for you before go for any discussions okay thank you